What if I told you that a simple stick of gum could increase your focus by 35% and improve your memory recall by up to 25%? A 2011 study from Cardiff University found that people who chewed gum during memory tasks performed significantly better than those who didn't. But here's the kicker. It's not just about staying awake. It's about literally rewiring the neural pathways in your brain. We've all been there, sitting at your desk, staring at the screen, brain feeling like mush. You try coffee. You try music. But nothing seems to work. What if the solution was sitting in your pocket this whole time? In the next five minutes, I'll show you exactly how this simple act triggers three powerful brain mechanisms that science says can transform your focus. Mechanism 1. The Oxygen Advantage Let's start with the most important one. Blood flow. Your brain is an energy hog. It's only 2% of your body weight but uses 20% of your oxygen. When blood flow drops, so does your focus. Here's where it gets interesting. Chewing gum increases blood flow to your brain by 25-40% within minutes. Research from Coventry University using fMRI scans showed increased activity in the hippocampus for your brain's memory center while people were chewing. So what's actually happening in your skull? Every chew sends signals through your trigeminal nerve, triggering vasodilation your blood vessels widen, delivering more oxygen and glucose to your prefrontal cortex. More fuel equals sharper focus. Fighter pilots use this protocol to flood their brain with oxygenated blood. They need every cognitive advantage they can get. And this is one of the fastest ways to get it. Mechanism 2. The Survival Signal Now here's where it gets really interesting. Why does your brain respond to chewing in the first place? The answer lies in evolution. For millions of years, your ancestors' brains associated chewing with one thing, survival. Chewing meant eating. Eating meant staying alive. And staying alive required complete focus. Whether you were hunting prey or avoiding becoming prey yourself. When you chew, you're tapping into ancient neural circuitry that says, something important is happening right now. Pay attention. It's a survival signal hardwired into your brainstem. This triggers a mild but sustained release of dopamine. Not the massive spike you get from scrolling social media, but a gentle elevation that keeps you engaged and alert. Research from University of Northumbria showed this increases alertness and reaction time by up to 10%. Every chew is a micro-stimulus that prevents your mind from wandering. It's like giving your brain a gentle nudge every few seconds. Stay here. Stay focused. This matters. Your brain doesn't know you're sitting at a desk. It thinks you're foraging for survival. Mechanism 3. The Stress Reset Here's what most people don't know. Stress doesn't just make you feel anxious. It literally shrinks your hippocampus and destroys your focus. When you're stressed, your body pumps out cortisol. A little is fine, but chronic elevation? That's when your working memory crashes and your attention span collapses. You can't focus because your brain is stuck in fight or flight mode. Studies from Swinburne University found that chewing gum reduces cortisol levels by up to 16%. How? The rhythmic motion activates your parasympathetic nervous system, your rest and digest mode. It's the opposite of fight or flight. Lower cortisol equals lower anxiety equals better working memory. It's like hitting the reset button on your stress response. Before surgeons enter the operating room for complex procedures, Many of them chew gum. They're not just staying alert, they're actively hacking their parasympathetic nervous system to stay calm under extreme pressure. The protocol. So, how do you actually use this? Because timing and strategy matter. Don't chew all day. Research shows the benefits peak in the first 15 to 20 minutes. Use it strategically, before important meetings, during study sessions, when you feel your attention dropping, type matters too. Sugar-free is non-negotiable. Sugar crashes kill focus. 
and mint flavors show slightly better results because peppermint activates additional cognitive pathways. Here's the 5 minute power protocol. Start chewing 5 minutes before your task. This primes your brain, gets the blood flowing, lowers cortisol before you even begin. Continue through the first 15 to 20 minutes. This is when the neural benefits are strongest blood flow peaks. Dopamine sustains. Stress hormones drop. Remove the gum when deep focus kicks in. By then, your brain's momentum will carry you forward. Think of gum as a tool, not a crutch. You're using it to trigger a state, not maintain it indefinitely. Studies show that chewing for hours can actually lead to jaw tension and headaches, which obviously defeats the purpose. The magic is in the strategic application, not constant use. The best performers understand this principle. It's not about doing something all the time. It's about doing the right thing at the right time for maximum impact. Real-world validation. This isn't just theory. The world's highest performers have already figured this out. Navy SEALs use gum during high-stress training exercises. When your life depends on split-second decisions, you don't mess around with unproven techniques. MLB players chew during crucial at-bats, not out of habit, but because they know it sharpens reaction time and reduces performance anxiety. Olympic athletes chew right before competition. Their sports psychologists and coaches understand the neuroscience. They're optimizing every variable they can control. Why? Because they understand what the research proves. Small inputs can create significant neural outputs. It's about marginal gains. When performance matters, every advantage counts. Even something as simple as chewing gum, here's what's really happening. You're not just chewing gum. You're hacking millions of years of evolution. You're using your body's ancient survival mechanisms to thrive in a modern world. So, next time you need to focus, before you reach for another coffee or open another tab, try this. Grab a piece of sugar-free mint gum. Chew it for 5 minutes before you start. Keep chewing through the first 15 to 20 minutes of your work. Then let your brain take over. Give yourself 20 minutes. See what happens. The smartest people don't just work harder, they work with their biology. And sometimes, the most powerful tools are the simplest ones. If this changed how you think about focus, you'll want to see what else neuroscience says about rewiring your brain. More science-backed strategies coming soon.